Yeah, uh, I think the marathon is the ultimate challenge. You know, um, and for us, well, Scott and I have talked about this a lot, um, and I think it works out pretty well to go from the track to the marathon. I think they kind of balance each other out really well, and um, for me, I kind of thrive off of that marathon strength. And um, you know, I've had really great track seasons after my first two marathons. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I'm probably more of a track runner than a marathoner. Uh -huh. I think that's probably uh, my better event. But okay. I love the challenge of the marathon, and. Um, you know, I, I think it does make me a better track runner and, and a um, more well-rounded well runner. So when you look at the big picture, do you think you do marathons for track or not track for marathons? Um, I think both. Um, I, I mean, I guess my first love is, is probably track, okay. but I, I mean, I've been doing it forever. You know, I've been doing track since I was in middle school, so mm -hmm. it, it might be more that than, um, the marathon still intimidates me, and I don't know if it's ever, if that's ever going to go away. Okay. Um, but, um, I don't know, when, when you're in marathon training, you know, you're so focused on the marathon, so it's hard to say. I, I think they just really complement each other well, so you don't have to choose, uh -huh. I guess would be okay. my point. <laughs> right, okay. I mean, looking ahead to 2015 or 16, like, yeah, track more than marathon. I, I hope to do both. I guess it depends um, who gets the marathon bid, uh, you know, the timing. Um, I know that uh, LA is up for it, and that one might be a little bit hard. Uh -huh. You know, we're kind of already, yeah, we're already talking about that. How how do you navigate that um, with the timing? And, and I, anyways, better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, really, if, for the distance runners, for people who want to come back, and you look at kind of our 10K team this year, and a lot of them, all of them except for Lisa, were in the marathon trials. Um, or sorry, not this year, last year, the you know, 20, 2012 10K team, but. Um, so yeah, it just kind of depends on the timing. I don't know what I would choose if I had to choose between the two. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can do both. Right. <laughs> so. Okay. Because was your time the fastest American time of the year? No. Okay. Um, there were people who broke 15. Okay. Um, okay. Jenny, later, Jenny, later and Molly. Summer, but yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. But early on. Early on, it was like yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Great. I mean, I was stoked Maybe. at that time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty happy. <laughs> the great track season with like two 10Ks and a road mile. That was 2012. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yep. Got it. All right. I heard you talking about goals. How, how is your training been going and what is your goal for Sunday? Um, yeah, training's been going pretty well. Marathon specific. I wouldn't say racing's been going super, but um, training's been going pretty well. Uh, goal, if there were a, was a time goal, it would be uh, probably low 230s. But, you know, with New York, it's always hard to have a time goal because it's the championship style race so you you know it's hard to know how the groups are going to split up and um, what the tactics are going to be out there but um, I don't know I, I'd be thrilled if I could finish in the top 15 I think place wise I mean the field is really strong so I guess we'll just see what kind of